As the title promises, it is a simple but very useful rule that we often forget to teach. And that rule is... In English, when we have a sequence of verbs, all the changes go on the first one. So if I have a phrase I want to buy a house and I want to turn this phrase into the past form, it will be I wanted to buy a house, no change to buy. If I have a phrase I have been to Italy and I want to make it negative, it will be I haven't been to Italy, no change to been. If I have a phrase he is running and I want to turn it into an inference, I'll say, he must be running, no change to running. There are some cases though where this is not true for the negative form. For instance, the verb try. I didn't try to set the house on fire means I had no intention of setting the house on fire. It was an accident. Whereas I try not to set the house on fire means I have the intention to avoid setting the house on fire. That's why I was so careful with the candle. The reason why these cases break the rule is that there's a difference in meaning between one version and the other. As long as students understand that difference, this type of exception should not be a problem. So that's it. This was a simple, almost silly, but very useful rule that we often forget to teach. See you next time and thanks for watching.